Right, what's up guys? Keener from Keener K TV here. Post fight to um, Jared Swift Heard versus Arislandi Lara. Right? So before I go into this fight, I pick um Swift Heard to beat Arizon Lara just based off of two simple things, right? Um Swift Heard is a tall fighter. Not only is he tall, but he's also big. Um a fighter that Arislani Lara is not going to be able to, you know, bounce around and hit him with a couple shots and keep a certain opponent off of him. He was not going to be able to do that with Jared Swift Hurt, right? That's what I thought in the beginning. Um, I also felt like Swift was a physically more bigger fighter than Lara. If he you know, wanted to lean on him, Lara had to deal with all of that weight on top of him. So I felt like Swift Hurt could... Um, you know, tire Lara out, and in the later rounds, you know, maybe finish him. Now, that's not exactly what happened in terms of the finish of the fight. He was able to drop him in the 12th round, and uh, he put him down. And, uh, you know, that was just a nail in the coffin, in my opinion. You know, we had the rural rounds where Lara did good, but I felt like it was going to be Austin Trout 2.0, but just a little worse of a, like, I don't want to say beating, but... A little more of a convincing win because in the in the Austin Trout fight so, um, heard in the beginning he was getting outboxed but you could see you know you could feel that Austin Trout was never going to be able to, to um, keep up a certain pace um, as he did as he said in the beginning of the rounds I, I knew like okay he's winning these rounds but later on in the fight he's, he's not going to be able to keep the pace up you know Swift Heard was able to maintain a certain pace and that pace got him the victory um he was able to do you no know, he was just able to he was able to work less and you know and do better than laura laura had to work hard and get half as far you know, half as far in, in, in the fight so you know all in all we have a new unified ibf and wba and uh, ibo guys why don't people recognize the ibo belt as a real belt i don't get it um right but um, in my opinion, yeah, so he's the IBO, WBA, and IBF junior middleweight champion. I think it's just skill-wise, Hurt is, is not the best fighter in the division. But he has the skill, he has the size, and he has um, the stamina that, that, that can take him to the deep waters and uh, save him, right? He, if, if he goes to the deep waters, his opponents tend to fade, and he doesn't. And especially with the weight and the size of him, if he leans on top of his fight uh, upon his opponents, that's that's a wrap. So Swift Heard gets a split decision victory over Adeslani Lara, becomes a unified junior middleweight world champion. And what's next for um, Swift Heard? Jamal Charlo? I hope so. <laughs> Salam Ali? <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. I think Saddam Ali is going to fight um, Kel Brook next. Um, but, you know, that's just a different story for a different day. Um, just who do you guys think is going to fight? Uh, uh, who do you guys think Swift Hurt is going to fight next? Leave it all in the comment section down below. I'm Keenan from Keenan KTV. Signing off. Later.